almost there. Got this, man. I'll do my very best. getting there though i mean we're making pretty good progress right now ouch pretty good progress all right let me just do a quick update uh hello passengers uh this is your captain uh Cassis clay uh, right now we're uh just about ninety-two thousand feet for the next uh 20 20 like minutes here or so i'm not actually sure how long it's going to take uh, we're going about uh 240 um k-i-a-t-s something like that uh we'll be uh updating you shortly here before landing uh feel free to move around the cap uh, the cabin and uh enjoy the uh flight there we go good up good uh good update beautiful Knots, yeah, knots. That's what it was. I was like, it's like K I A T S or something like that. Knots. <laughs> that was great. You sound like a pilot. Perfect. I had to throw in all the ahs. Uh, I'm gonna uh, <laughs> even with the ah uh, pause. <laughs> Good, good. <laughs> Why does our captain not know how long our flight is? I know, that's the scary part. Look at all this stuff we got. ATC. Checklist. Alright, did we uh, start the engine before leaving? Yes, we did. Okay, good. Uh, after starting the engine... Okay, yeah, we did that as well. All right, good, good, good. But I'm glad we started the engine before leaving. Let me speed it up here a bit. Slow it down a little bit and we start climbing. <laughs> if you want the full immersion, I guess you can go through all of that. Turning on the engine and everything. That's actually pretty cool. Turn on the APU mid-flight. What's that? AI control. Control aircraft. Aux power unit. One one eight decimal four seven five Airbus three two zero. Airbus 320. Look up into the right. I oh, think any virus. Uh oh. Up and to the right. Up here. Yeah. Aux power unit? Where is it? There's so many buttons. You could also just turn off the engine from there. Wipers? There we go. Perfect. Don't do it, it's a meme. But I can't turn it back off now. What did I do? Help! Under the red cover? Oh, mask on? This thing? Or, ah, this guy. It won't let me anyways. Emergency. Oh, jeez.
No top row. Push. No top row, middle of it. That? So many buttons. Yeah, actually, though. And also, like, looking at it like this is difficult. <laughs> What are we at right now? Alpha Sierra X ray tree two zero seven thousand one hundred feet. Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray tree two zero approach continue to Custa as planned. Altimeter two niner decimal five niner. Top row, middle. Is it a red button? Custa is the flight path. Uh. Wait, I lost myself. There we are. Does it say on this thing? Like, would it show up over here or no? Yeah, we'll say Custa. Okay. Oh, God. I go and work when I stop by even for a second. I hope I can catch you when I'm on my lunch break next time. Hey, the whip, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, thanks for coming out and chatting and all that good stuff. Have fun at work and uh, hopefully you see you next time whenever you get the chance to stop by again. Appreciate it. It says Toga. Are these like supposed to have names on them? Watching another streamer flying through England look incredible with all the buildings lit up at night. That's Toga. That line, that Toga. a little much here ah uh, okay take off go around gotcha I see dude this honestly is beautiful what the heck If you look at the pedestal, that's where the power is set. Can you mark a waypoint with an address or GPS? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe? Map? I don't know. This is, see, I feel like the, as much in depth this game gets, I feel like there's not a lot of training for it. Like I wanted to get a training class that would like teach me how to use the GPS and everything. And here we are, basically, like, all it shows you is the basics. Which is cool, but still. Kind of like, um... Loudspeaker? We're at 250. Alright, that's actually not too bad. weather and turbulence in this simulator yes it is yep uh technically we're flying right now with real-time weather and stuff um real time and weather i guess
Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 London Center continue to Custa as planned. Altimeter 29 or decimal 58. Ryanair 7307, you are 20,000 feet above your assigned altitude. Descend and maintain 10,000 feet. That's not me, right? That's Ryan 7307. Ryanair or whatever it was. Yeah, that's not me. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 approach continue to Costa as planned. Altimeter 29 or decimal 57. Right there. That's the speed, and crap, we're going a bit under. I guess it's a little bit better to be higher than lower. there we're getting there for sure so what was that button earlier it was like top row auto Got so many buttons. Start hitting buttons. I'm afraid <laughs> when we when we're doing a not flight. I mean, we're almost there, so I don't want to start doing but hitting buttons right now. But if we're like cruising or something, I'm totally down to. Maybe we'll do a night flight after this. Something more like casual. I know where I'll go to. Look at the pedestal and turn the engine off one NDB. This pedestal? engine too I hear it <laughs> why <laughs> we're good we're good turn it on <laughs> I heard it turn off I heard it go <laughs> engine not started <laughs> press control E Everyone on board was like, what the heck? Oh my gosh. I hear the engine back on. We're good. We're good. Uh, pilots, uh, I mean, uh, passengers, do not worry. Uh, we just had a uh, slight mishap of turning off the engine there. Uh, our, uh, one of our colleagues here let us know that we should probably do that and then after doing so we shouldn't have so uh don't mind me also bobazoid yo thank you for the follow i appreciate it do the parking brake 
Do a barrel roll. Bruh. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, none of the passengers. I'm sure they're they're fine. They're fine. No big deal. Is there like a a save option? Just in case, yeah. It's a, I just want to save right here. Uh, one. Okay. <laughs> just in case. Because, you know, if uh, things start going south, we can retry. Or actually, maybe not. Maybe we can just deal with it. You know, real life scenario. <laughs> if we die, we die, right? We're at 12,000 feet. Peak content? Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I don't know the actual phrases that I would say, so like, coming up with these, uh, it's difficult. All I know is I can turn on the filter and just say a lot of, uh, you got a, uh, make sure you drink water guys. Drink up. <laughs> I wanted to be a pilot when I was a kid, so I started watching flight videos on YouTube. There's one guy that I, I watch, um, or I used to watch every once in a while, uh, that like Air Force dude. I always thought he was really funny. Also, we're going a lot faster than we should be. Yeah, Air Force Proud 95, yeah, that guy. I always thought it was like air traffic controlling stuff was really funny. It's not us. Uh, where are you flying to? Uh, I forget what it uh, Paris Paris. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, it was. Oh, no, 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 no it wasn't. We flew. We took off from Paris. Uh, it's like House of Parliament. It's to the right of Heathrow. It was literally called like House of Parliament or something like that. Yeah, it's near Heathrow. <laughs> Violet does not know where he's going. <laughs> Hey, I just take the orders and I'm following the destination marker. <laughs> just like in real life. Where are we flying to today? Oh, okay. Sounds good. Wait, should I be declining here? The computer usually flies it, but Cassis doesn't. Yeah, what if this entire time I was just doing this? Let's see. I want to see how much different the flight is going to be. There it is. Okay, I see. Don't worry, I'll take over. Y'all going to have to loop back. Yeah. So is that like marker, like where we're going right now, supposed to be right here? Oh, GPS tracking just tracks your thing. 
I don't see the flight pattern. Yeah, I've had a few successful landings. They've kind of been a little bit sketchy, but... Uh, it wasn't, like, too bad. I think just going to the house apartment was a flyover. You'll have, you have nowhere to land now. Really? Was it? Actually? Nah, it looks like it. I think it was. I think it was. Big Ben. Wait, how is that an option as a destination, though? Probably just so you can see it. Let's find out. This is Cassis Clay taking over. Going in. Oh, wait. I'm afraid now. Good. Where was where would he fly then? <laughs> I'm confused. Oh no. Here we go, boys. It's go time. We are steadily decreasing. We got a little bit much of overspeed. Perfect. <laughs> Abandoned ship. We got this. We got this. We're good. All right, there it is. Are we falling? <laughs> I press control E to turn on the engines. Oh, I think we're just standing. Oh, uh, that's what it was. I press control without. <laughs> Made me do it. I press control so we are stuck in the air for a second there.
BRB got to pick up a package. Oh God, we are coming in hot. We are coming in hot. <laughs> All right, chat. Is ended and maintain 6,000 feet. Expect ILS runway 22 approach via the ski transition. Clear to ski Orion Air 8475. Only go 350. Yeah, right. Wait, is there a airport speed. there? Over speed. 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 No, there's not. Over there's speed. most definitely not. Oh, there's the shard. That's pretty cool. Tower of London. So that was just a landmark. They were right. Well, now we know. One thousand. When does the landing gear do go down? Uh, when I press G, basically. Oh wait, there's a airport. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna land there. We do not have clearance, but we're doing it anyways. Wait, can I contact air traffic? Over speed. Over speed. Too fast. Too fast. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. We got this. Yeah, I think so. To help you land easily, it also manages the flaps and landing gear for you. Yeah, this is the landing assistance right now. I think it's just lining me up.
1,000. This is a, I feel like this is a tiny ass airport. 60, 50, 40, 30, God. 20. Retard, try it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Boys. That was sketchy. Airbus three two zero, please acknowledge. No deaths or damages. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <sighs> All the passengers right now. Did we stop the main engine? <laughs> Everyone's ready to get out. All right, everybody, we made it alive, safe and sound. That was so sketchy. Uh, thank you for flying with me on my first training flight. Um, appreciate it. Thanks for coming by and, uh, have a uh, safe trip in uh, London City. There we go. <laughs> First in my flight. <laughs> True. There it is. End the flight. Stop the main engine. Didn't we stop the main engine? It's all off, right? Is there another button to shut down engine shift control E oh we're pressing buttons right now back what I missed no way did you miss that <laughs> scary as landing I mean we landed though to shut down engine can shift control E I thought all the engines are off right now We made it though. <laughs> but did you die? No. Oh boy. Where's this, uh. I'll meet you in the skies. All right, sounds good, Blunder. Yeah, that's the engines. All right, well, it looks like it's over there. Hey, menu. All right, let's do a night flight, y'all. Um, but before we do that, uno momento. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick and then we'll continue.
Got a hydrate for when he gets back. All right, I'm back. Also, a hydrate. I did like that way that it set me up for that final for landing, though, back there. That was actually pretty cool. I think that would actually make it pretty fun if you, like, just start, like, a free flight. And then, uh, like, go wherever. Um, okay, so, yeah, these are just little... So the landmarks are just landmarks. That's all. Oh, I see now. Big Ben, House of Parliament. <laughs> I tried using it as a... Uh... <laughs> now we know. I thought it was going to be like an airport. Not like that. Still cool though. All right. Night flight. Move over here. Actually, I know where we're going to go. What's this? Tokyo. Runways. Uh, let me change plane. Also, I'm going to change my call sign. You can enable failures. <laughs> Aircraft selection. What should we go with this time? So the max speed is that it was 455 knots. 320 again, again? Yeah, to test your skills. I mean, we could. I mean, I can bump it up to the Boeing. Seven forty-seven. All right, we'll do it. This time we'll actually set like a a location to land at. Let's see. Akita. I wish they had little like pictures. Seoul. South Korea. Is South Korea nearby? South Korea is not here, is it? Is it? Where is it? Sorry guys, I'm not very good at uh, theology, not gonna lie. Oh, Seoul, there it is. Set as arrival. Okay. It's kind of long. I'm so confused with that time still. 620. But then it's, what is that one hour and 15 minutes? Or the war, low altitude, high altitude. To complete. View sand tower, what about here? I'm just curious. An hour four. All right, we'll see. We'll we'll see how this goes. We can try it. Um.
Is this? What's the difference between these? Whoa. Oi. MBE. Do you land at those? Or are they just saying... Sent. Landing there to refuel. Ah. Direct. So we just send up to 85 and then back down again. Oh, set your cruise altitude. What should we set our cruise altitude to? I didn't realize that you can set it. Low altitude airways. <laughs> High altitude airways. Should we do one of these instead? 30. All right, so how about low altitude airways? Is that how that would work? Even better. Or should we do a high altitude airways? IFR. That is choosing a predetermined flight path. I'm okay with that. Oh, so like. I see. So if you do direct GPS, then you go up, you fly, and that's it. Now you're doing your own path. If you're doing this. Then you go up and it tells you, okay, now turn here, now turn here, and then probably want autopilot on. IFR is more inf instrumental based. I mean, I'm okay with it if we learn it. <laughs> so, Vor to Vor is. Taking off, landing, refueling, and then taking off again. That's kind of cool. Cruise. Descend. No, the basics. VFR is, is based on your view. Okay. Let's try low altitude airways. Or should we do high? Low or high? It goes up to 42 and then descends. I think people are going to say hi. For 20 blades at high. <laughs> Under 10. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Let's do it. We're going to do live. Live traffic. All players. Close. Chat. It is time. Let's roll. I'm still going back and forth on UFC 4. I said I would make a decision around like 2 or around 1, but here we are. But first, let me take a selfie. You know what's funny? Since I have the green screen behind me, I could take a picture and be like, doing my first flight today and put, put myself in like a cockpit or something. <laughs> or, or honestly just face it like this, like have my phone like this. I'm flying today, boys. Get really close to it. First transatlantic flight by the Boeing 747 was on January 22nd, 1970. <laughs> Hydrate will do. I'm gonna have to fill this up. Um, you know what, while this is loading, oh God, what happens that focus? While this is loading, uh, I'm gonna go fill this up and stuff. Because if it's an hour, then it's an hour. So, BRB.
Whoa. Well, they just throw us in here, really. Okay. One sec. All right. Let's see what we got going on. There we go. Okay, so now we have the pink line that we can actually watch. And it has the directional options. It's cool. We got the very, very big boy. The Boeing. Parking engaged. Alright, everybody. Welcome to yet another Cassis Clay uh, flight. Today we are flying the Boeing 747. Uh, we're going to be making our way over to uh, Seoul. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's going to take a little bit, but uh, it should be an easy, chill, hopefully no explosions, no major issues type of ride. Uh, should be a good one today. So uh, strap in, hold on, and we'll be taking off very shortly. Thank you. All right. Parking disabled and three, two, one. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Do we use, uh, should we put on some music or no? Or just like, just chill. Maybe maybe when we uh, get higher up. Maybe like halfway through the flight, we'll throw on some music. Three, one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. When we're cruising, I think we'll throw on some uh, autopilot. Oh! Ah! Ah! What did we do? <laughs> what happened? Uh, we landed in the water. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and restart that. Continue. Okay. Miracle on the Hudson, take two. <laughs> you know what they need to make? I, you know what would be awesome? What if? What if Microsoft did created? Ready? Microsoft Space simulator where it's literally full in-depth like take everything that you have for microsoft flight but turn it into rockets and taking off and going to other planets just like a full-on space simulator like going to however many planets you can get to um like just the same exact concept concepts like space sim if anybody could do it it would be microsoft what happened to our objectives all 
Alright, let's try this again. I can't take off. Oh, uh, listen for V1. V1 is when you pull up. Okay. All right. Well, we got it this time. We didn't go crashing into the building. A little bit sketchy there. Time to designate a cruise altitude. Does the woman still keep climbing right now? I don't think it wants me to right now. I think it'll tell me when to climb. Whoa! Oh, I think we're technically too high right now. Oh, wait, no, maybe not. Maybe not. No. It's actually easier flying in third person. Might be a l very hard to see right now. But we're also flying over the ocean, so don't mind me. Okay, yeah, right around here is good.